get an opportunity. Drexel, a little bit of energy as coming into the game and tossing that one in. Alexis Smith. They like to play it in the 50s. Smith, that's a three! Every quarter in women's basketball this season, no one and one. When you hit five fouls, you shoot two and one! They hedge on her, she dumps it inside, and they get the hoop to Johnson, who has six points here in the first half. Largest lead of the game after that bucket by Johnson, as they worked it well, the Phoenix at home. Leading Drexel. From outside, Creighton, that's a three. Second half. Going back door cut. This is Pearson off the glass. Oh. <laughs> As you tie all that together, from outside, Pearson from the parking lot. That was stolen away, stolen by Creighton. Surveying the floor, running the floor is Curran, and one! Producing good players, and Drexel taking advantage of it. And Creighton stole that one, and at ahead of the pack here is Smith. A 15 to nothing run to start the second half. Two former players, Brock Cornish, as we see the basket by Drexel made. Curran. Now Burnett has been able to get to the rim, just hasn't been able to finish. A three from Sarah Curran. Coach Dillon told me yesterday, we must play good post defense. Well, they've done an outstanding job thus far. And then on the offensive end, Curran has caught fire. 17 with their second straight hit from the three line. This is amazing. 23 to nothing here in the third quarter. Anybody in the country. Down low, they work it right out of the gate to Woods. Right out, and that's exactly what you have with the kick out to Woods, who buries it for her second basket. In the conference, Drexel 10 and four, Elon nine and five, and Schluth has a free run to the rim. Took the charge on the last possession. Has done an outstanding job on a defensive end. Oh, Curran <laughs> gets that one to go and has 21 points. A Drexel would also give them the tiebreaker against Elon, which is also very oh, important. Oh, Pearson tosses one in. And kudos to Drexel for making the halftime adjustments by Coach Dillon and then putting him into play in the second half. And